traders who refused to comply with COVID-19 safety protocols in the Ashanti region, specifically Kumasi, risk their trading space under the sustained sensitization programs with the Otum for Osei Tutu Charity Foundation. This follows the blatant disregard of social distancing protocols at some markets in Kumasi. Adherence to the COVID-19 safety protocols in the Ashanti region has been a cause of concern for health authorities with increasing positive cases, although the KMA has on several occasions closed some markets due to the disregard for the social distancing directives. Some traders continue to flout the directives. The Menshia Palace is now supporting the KMA's efforts to ensure traders and commercial drivers adhere to the protocols. We've talked to the leaders of the market and they are aware that the space given is for them to service people. And therefore, anybody who is not willing to obey must give out the space so that people who are willing to obey the instructions and the protocols are given the chance to service people. The KMA is hopeful traders will adhere to the directives to avoid arrest and prosecution. We are all going there to observe whether the traders are complying. In fact, any market that refuse to comply, we will, we will have no other di direction to go rather than to close it down. MasterCard Foundation is also supporting the hygiene and social distancing markets program with Veronica Buckets, nose masks and sanitizers. There is some logistics, there is some bit of funding to match up the funds from the foundation and then ultimately we also have a leverage of experts and expertise that we can bring on board to ensure that the project can be well implemented. Ghana, as of Tuesday, June 23, according to the Ghana Health Service, had recorded confirmed cases of 14,568, with the Ashanti region having confirmed cases of 2,867. The country's total death stands at 95.